Hey YouTubers, it is I, the Heller 777, better known as the Little Dragon, bringing some wind noise to you today. Okay, all doing well. Just taking your old Harley Davidson XL1200 Sportster out. Sportster low. Out for a ride. Blowing a little of the cobwebs out of her. Trying to get her up to temp. What is happening with all of my friends out there in YouTube land? <laughs> I know most of you thought I was dead, but not quite yet. I think I've still got a couple of years left with Lord Willie. Did I have a topic for today? I sort of did. But I'll get to it. What have I been up to? I'm checking my rear view mirror. Uh, a little ride and some deer hunting. With my bow. In fact, I managed to remove one of them little pesky creatures from its ranks last week. It no longer will be running across the highway threatening me while I'm riding. <laughs> Man, it feels good out today. So I've been doing a little bit of that. A little bit of riding. Trying not to cause my back any further damage that I've done to it since my surgery and as my wife will confess and be first to let you know I tend to be a little stubborn in wanting to do things and wanting to get back to doing things the way I used to before I should be so as a result, my back tends to hurt a little bit more than it should from time to time. So I really got to slow down on that and uh, start listening to the better half a little more because the last warning my neurologist gave me before the end of my last visit was I don't want to see you back here before your next checkup in six months without me calling you to say that it's time for your visit. Because if I have to get into that back of yours again, it's not going to be pleasant. Well, ooh, that was close. It wasn't pleasant the first time. So, and that's even closer. Let's get through that red light. So, I have trying to take that to heart, but uh, sometimes I don't know if it's my male ego or just my plain stupidity. gets in the way. And I end up doing something stupid that I'm not supposed to be doing, like, you know, lifting more than 20, 30 pounds, getting my back into positions it shouldn't be in. 
See, I just can't seem to get it through my mind that my spine hasn't quite fused yet. Ah, hair. So, I do some stupid things. And I usually regret it later that day and the next day or two after that. That being said, I'll probably continue to do stupid things because I'm a man. And that's what we do sometimes. But, that being said, this is part of who I am. Driving through the Harley dealership just to see if they want to give me any of these bikes for free. I don't think they do. They got them lined up real nice. All the Milwaukee 8 engines on the new 2017s. I don't have spare $30,000 right now, so I don't see one of those in my future. And that's on the low end. That being said, we are moving towards fall, and after that, winter. Now, for those of you, ah, I'm still recording, who don't ride during the winter. question about putting your bikes to bed. My bikes are out in an unheated storage location and they get plenty cold during the winter. Now with Harleys and bikes in general In my opinion, one of the worst things you can do in the winter is go out and start them up and just let them run a little bit, keep, keep the battery up, and then turn them off. And my logic may be flawed, but I think the amount of moisture that condenses inside that motor being brought up the temperature and, and let the cool properly is very detrimental. And my thinking is your bike needs to be brought up to operating temperature to help evaporate that moisture that gets in your motor all the time. As it cools, especially in the winter time. So, I think what I what I do with the Harleys is, if I'm going to put them to bed, and I know I'm not going to ride them for a long distance, uh, you know, I mean at least get them up to operating temperature, which is usually 20 miles or more. I don't start them during the winter at all. They sit on the battery tender and I don't start them till spring if I'm not going to ride them. Now the, the old Yamaha, I like to ride her whenever there's a halfway decent day out in the winter time. So I've been known to jump on her in pretty cold temperatures. That's all right. She's an old girl. She's 34 years old. Being in the cold for her is nothing new.
that leads to another question or comment about Earl, or as the boys on the horse say, oil. change your oil. Boy, something must have died. Look at all those turkey vultures up there. It's amazing how far away they can find something dead. Uh, this question is that being said do you change your oil before you if, if you put your bike away for the entire winter and don't ride her, do you change your oil before you put her to bed? Or do you change it when you bring it out in the spring? Or I know some fanatics <laughs> do both. Myself on the Harleys I do not change them before winter time. What I do is I take them out for a, a nice long ride. And if I know I'm going to put them away, I put them away. Put them on the, on the battery main tank. Check the air in the tires. Kiss them good night. Then when I wake them up in the early spring, or when the weather gets really good and I know I'm going to keep them up, I go ahead and start it up, run it a little while, change the oil, drain it, fresh oil in. I usually run it about 100 miles to 200 miles thereabouts one consecutive ride then she gets another oil change overkill certainly overpriced motorcycles <laughs> they ain't cheap brother so I tend to watch them pretty close so anyway that's what I do kind of interested in your comments, what you all do. And when you put that girl to bed for the winter, you put a nice warm blanket over the top of her. <laughs> does she get a cover? Or does she just go in and lay their own cover? Hmm. All right, Heller. Anyway, that's about all I had for today. Your comments will be appreciated. Now, you all know the trouble I have turning this camera off, so I'm going to say goodbye, but it'll probably be five minutes before I get to say goodbye. So I'm recording. Let me push the button. Bye. Nope. See? What I tell you?